be showing you how to put decals in the um, little cherry dots of a Scotty Cameron photo. Right here, if you can see it, oh, that's probably it. let me move the putter. These are just some Chinese symbols that I printed onto transparency paper. Um, I printed these on transparency paper and they are actually the correct size for the Scotty Cameron Laguna cherry dots. All the Scotty Cameron putters are have different size dots so you have to print them to the correct size and I'll do a screencast on how I um, did that. I just did it in PowerPoint so it's not too difficult. But anyways, um, what we're going to do is cut these into little circles so that they fit into the um, putter cherry dots and then we'll put a clear paint fill over them. So I, I had printed out um, or I brought out two of each just in case I messed up one but let's get them cut out. It's really important that you cut these in the best circle that you can because you'll actually see the outlines of this transparency paper if it's not uh, circular. Alright, so I've got the symbol now, and what I'm going to do is just drop it in to see if it fits. And for this one, I'm going to need to just trim it up a little bit more. Okay. And I also want to say the, these dots are completely dry right now, so that you have to wait till they completely harden and dry. Um, otherwise, the paint will actually come over the transparency, and it'll look pretty unprofessional. So, Get a good camera angle on that. It's kind of tough to see there, but I've got the logo in there. And now, what I'm going to do is take some clear Tamiya um, paint. Let's see, let me get this in the right angle. So I just have this in a size 25 bottle. Doesn't really matter, but uh, what I'll do now is just start putting this clear paint over the decal. And I like to start at the edges to kind of sealed this in place and once you have a little bit of paint in there you can start pushing the logo or the decal down and it almost acts like glue it'll just stick right in there Alright, so it looks to me like I've got this fairly locked in place. And what I'm going to do now is just, well, clean up this area. But what I'm going to do now is just let this dry completely. And then, just like in the tutorial with fading, 
I'll flash some acetone over the top of it once it's absolutely hardened and dry and that'll make it uh, have like this mirror like finish and it'll look really good these logos here or whatever you want to call them are sized for a Scotty Cameron Laguna 2008 model I'll make sure and post this uh, document on the page so that you can steal these logos from me but anyways if you want to do your own you first have to measure out the size of the dots of the putter so the Scotty Cameron Laguna have it has one centimeter in diameter dots I converted this one centimeter into 0.393 inches the reason I do that is because PowerPoint measures in inches so when you size it you need to have it in inches so then I said, okay, we'll subtract 0.1 inches to allow for some space in the dots so it doesn't look too tacky. And so all of these logos are somewhere around 0.3. This one's 0.28 by 0.3. We got a 0.31 by 0.9. Now you can see these logos right here a little bit, you know, the height are bigger in proportion to the width than these ones. So when you have something like this you want to keep them in proportion so they don't look weird but since the height is the biggest dimension that'll be the maximum of like 0.31 or 0.3 um, but anyways that's how you size out the logos as far as printing them goes you I pretty much think that you have to have a laser jet printer otherwise if you're just printing normal ink it's going to smear all over the transparency paper that you print it on and as far as transparency paper goes you can buy that online or what I did was went to my local supply store Office Depot and I asked the people at the shipping area if they had some transparency paper and they did so they sold a couple pieces for 50 cents to me so I had two or three pieces of transparency paper and I made this document and printed them out and so I've got tons of logos now to use so I recommend doing that and also I'll put a link to some transparency paper on the page so I hope this helps and good luck with finding some